What is going by today? We have a brand new WWE action figure closet style deal, man. We got a massive haul here of new clothes for these WWE action figures. We have some updates and stuff like that. And all of this is possible because of my man PWR Lucha, man. Best WWE action figure cloth maker in the game. Nobody can make them like he makes them, at least not what I've seen. If you think somebody's better, send them my way. I think that there are a lot of talented ones out there, but I think that PWR Lucha is the best in the game that I've seen personally. And I could be wrong, you know, maybe I'm wrong, but man, this guy is so talented and he sent us this package of all these shirts. We got a lot of Cena in here. We have some updates that we want to get into, man, and I can't wait for it. So with that being said, man, let's go ahead and dive into it, man. But go give him a follow. Link in the description below. Go follow him on Instagram, man. But today, man, we got some shirts for Cena, Jacob Fatu. We got Jey Uso. We got the Tribal Chief. We got some good stuff, man. But you guys will see, we do have some different jerseys here. And I want to take you through some of these before we get into them. So this jersey right here, I do believe this is the jersey that John Cena rocked in his feud with The Rock back in 2011, I think it was, or 12. And he rocked this when he kind of had the, you know, the Doctor of Thugonomics return for that one promo or whatever. So I think that's what this is. We also have the Brooklyn Nets jersey here. I do believe it is a Dr. J. And we're, this is a Ruthless Aggression Cena. And I don't think I'm going to be using these today because I don't have the parts. I think we may have to wait on surgery or something. Maybe we can do it on Action Figure Surgery Episode 100. This will give me something to do. So we will use these on there, but these are still badass. I, dude, these are so sweet. So I am appreciative of those. But I guess we can just go one by one through these, man. So the first shirt that we do have here is going to be this beautiful J. Uso Yeet shirt. Now you guys have known that he's kind of changed up his colorations the last few months and he has this pink blue and white shirt gives me big mdt vibes i mean got this yeet shirt here we're going to and it's a crop top which i think is so excellent so i'm going to be taking the ultimate edition jey uso back here and i'm going to be putting this on here so i think the way to do this would probably be to just pull the arms off so we're going to pull the arms off of this jey uso and then we're going to just slide this over the head right here slide it over the torso and what's cool is this is actually going to match so i thought about this is something i thought about take the ultimate Jey Uso like this and then just paint over this in pink and blue. I thought about doing that, making like a Miami Vice attire or something, but I think this is still going to look really sweet even without the pants and we actually still have the pants. That's what's crazy is we do have the pants here, but this to me, this looks good enough. I don't think you really have to use the pants, but he did send along the pants, so I feel like you might as well put the pants on, you know what I'm saying? Because it still looks sweet, so I think that would look good as well and he sent over the Yeet shirt here, so I don't really know if I, I may, should I make two different versions here? I think it should make two different versions. So we have the Yeet there. You could put these two together or I could put this shirt with these pants. And then also, he has the Yeet sleeve. So he even makes a pro combat or sleeve here. And as an athlete, dude, I used to always love rocking a sleeve. This looks beautiful, man. Let's put this over here. This is so sweet. I wish WWE would think of something like this. Because then you could put the tattoos on there and then you could put the cloth sleeve over the arm. And then look at that. Now you have both options. You could put the sleeve on there. And it looks good. And he always puts the inside of the cloth. He always makes it white so it won't stain or anything. So that just looks so good. And it's not going to hinder articulation and even if there's white underneath even if there was skin tone underneath i don't think that's gonna bother you as a collector i think that is so awesome so i like that a lot dude this this looks badass we'll put the pants on you know what if you want to put that i feel like i need to put this on a different j though am i am i you know what i mean i feel like this could go on a different j i may put this on a different j we'll leave this like it is and then we'll come back to it but that j does look pretty good right there we'll, we'll come back to that one but another one we have is going to be jacob fatu now i've been putting him in this we the one shirt but i am glad finally that that I can update him with this Jacob Fatu shirt right here. And now we can put this on this. And I think this is going to look a hell of a lot better than this one right here. But while I'm putting this shirt on there, man, I have an announcement to make. And that is Sunday, November 17th. 8.30 p.m. Central Time. Join me live on Whatnot to celebrate the con season finale, a massive celebration to mark the end of the 2024 con season. Don't know what Whatnot is? No problem. Whatnot is a live streaming app where you can buy, sell, and auction literally anything. Wait a minute, did you say anything? Anything. Anything. Yes, anything. Anything. My God, yes, anything. Anything. That's it, you're not invited. Not only will we be selling whatnot exclusive customs and items, we will be doing multiple free WWE action figure giveaways. What an astounding product! <laughs> oh yeah! Plus when you sign up with my link in the description below, you will receive $15 off to use in my live stream or any other incredible streams happening this weekend. And on top of all of this, Saturday we will be doing one of the craziest toy hunts in channel history that tie into our whatnot stream this weekend. So download whatnot using the link below and come by my stream for some incredible items and I'll see you guys there. I'm so excited! <laughs> So here's our Jacob Fatu, and I really like it. I want to put some bicep bands on here, and I want to put some black wrist tape. 
And then I want to figure out a way to put kick pads or boots on this guy because I think it would look better. And I know we're going to have an updated Elite in in due time, probably a year from now. Maybe at WrestleMania we'll see a prototype or something on display. But this still looks good. I'm glad to have the updated shirt because I didn't have the, you know, I didn't have the shirt in there. So I'm glad to have a shirt that better represents Jacob. So we do have that figure. Let's move things along, man. We have a lot of Cena's right here now. Some of these, you know, we already had shirts for, but now we have the back graphic. So we do have the Top Pick Cena shirt, the Super Mario shirt. This one can go over here. So now this one, you know, it'll probably be bigger, it'll fit better, and it'll have the bad graphic on there. We also have the Rise Above Cancer shirt, which I do have back here, and this one is one that I've had in the collection for a very long time. A lot of people like this figure. I still don't know how we don't have this in the line yet, but on the back it does have the graphic, and on mine it doesn't have the sleeve graphics or the bad graphic, so... Maybe it's time to make an update right here. We can update all of these at once, man. We also have the purple shirt right here. So we do have, you know, the Elite 11 John Cena. So here we do have the Elite 11 John Cena. And then, boom, you'd have the back graphic right there. So that allows me to update this Elite 11 John Cena. And then lastly, not lastly, you dumb idiot... We also have the Ultimate Edition, which I think would fit better. You know that this one doesn't have Velcro. They both have the back graphic, but which one's better? You know what I'm saying? So this is something where you can actually compare who has the better shirt and everything. This one actually has the WWE one. This one does not. Uh, but this one has the sleeve logo, and this one does not. So I don't know. I don't know, man. I may have to put it on there and find out what that's about. So we'll switch that one as well. And then the last John Cena that I'm here to update is going to be this one. And this one should look much better than the one that I have custom made. A lot of these, man, these are really old customs. These are customs added to the John Cena collection way back in the day. These were made by Threadhead like seven, eight years ago or something like that, man. So these, these customs are getting updated from a long time ago. And again, on the back you have the bag graphic, which is just such an underrated detail that really throws these Cena figures over the top for me. So there is that. But that's why PWR Lucha nails it because he's the first guy that was able to replicate the chain gang jersey and the basketball jerseys and the football jerseys of John Cena. He's actually somebody that can replicate that, that I beg other cloth customers customizers and clothes makers for WWE figures. Nobody could ever do it. He was the only one that was able to. So, I mean, he's a guy that really is the best in the game, man. But that is not the last shirt we have. I do want to switch all those, and we'll do that in just a moment because I'm going to do it all together. But we also have his most recent shirt, his retirement shirt here. You know, it's got the last, the last time is now John Cena farewell, farewell tour. And then on the back, it has the door after this, you can't see me. And I don't really know how I feel about this shirt. And I don't want to put this onto a figure yet because I don't, I'm going to have to get armbands made. There's going to be different things like this. And if we get an official elite with Velcro, I'll be able to just remove that and put this shirt on there. And that'll have the right hat and armbands and everything like that. So I don't want to use this here today, but it is a cool shirt to have nonetheless because I want to put this onto a figure. But that is that. And he also included the towel. So he has two different towels here. So you have the, the last time is now towel. And he has another towel that I think has the back. Oh, okay, so, so this one's like a stitched piece of cloth, and this one is just one regular piece of cloth. So he did a front and back version and a regular version. And then what's even cooler than that is he actually included the damn bicep bands in cloth, which you really got to zoom in there, but you have the wristband. And he included two of the red, and he included two of the blue, which I guess you could say, oh, you could just put that on there. But I don't know because I don't have the hat and stuff too, but it has the last time is now. So he even made cloth bands. I don't know how I feel about that. I know we had the sleeve, but I think for a band specifically, you may have to use the sculpt because I feel like these may move, but I've never looked at that on the figure, so I don't know. Maybe that's something that we could play around with. But the last shirt that we did get is going to be the OTC Original Tribal Chief shirt that we're going to be putting on this Ultimate Edition Roman Reigns. So what we're going to do is take a moment, and then I'll come back, and we'll have all of these figures fixed up besides our J over there. So i got to get an extra J, fix these figures up, and we'll come right back. All right, man, here we are, and we have all of the figures dressed out right here, man. And here is the J Uso. Now, I did use the last, I think it was the top picks, or maybe it was the, it was one of the Elite Usos. Maybe it was the SummerSlam Elite J Uso. I put an Ultimate Edition yelling head sculpt on it. Put the shirt, and then this is this is the thicker jogger mold. So it's not the skinny mold. This is the older mold, but it still looks good, man. Look at the colors; they pop off really nice. I hope that Mattel, surely Mattel is going to pump out a lot of Jey Uso. He's so over right now. I, I just would not imagine that they won't make a lot of Jey Usos. I love collecting Usos because they're so creative. I mean, look at them, man. They're just so toyetic. So this looks great. I'm really intrigued and proud of the way this one came out, and you can see it up next to this one. And again, man, I think I might paint this one just to make like this Miami Vice attire or something. And then think about it. If you take these shoes from the Kofi Kingston, I'm just saying, man, like take this figure. Like what if you put these shoes on there? What if you put the shoes from this Kofi over here and then you paint?
painted that, dude? Oh my goodness, you could make a really sweet... I don't know, man. My mind's just going crazy with fix-ups that we could make. So here's our different J's. You could let me know. You like the sleeve J with the crop top, or do you like the other one, man? You can let me know down in the comment section below. But the other ones that we have here, we do have the original Tribal Chief right here. It's just the Ultimate Edition with the T-shirt. Does look very good, though. I'm happy the way that came out. Nothing too crazy or over the top, but, you know, I'm looking forward to more Romans. Want the faded tapered beard. We talk about it all the time. And then the John Cena's, man. Look how these, sh these shirts fit, man. They fit the way that John Cena's shirts fit, man. Longer sleeves. They're big. They're tight up top, and then they kind of baggy hang below the waist right there. And that looks really, really good. Same thing with these. I think that all of them fit really, really good, man. I mean, I don't really ha know how you'd have an issue with any of these. I think all of them look pretty good. Not that the old ones fit bad, but I just love having that front and back graphic. As a kid, I talk about it a lot, but as a kid, it used to drive me nuts that every Stone Cold Steve Austin, not every single one, but a lot of the ones that Jax would do when I was growing up, man, they would never put the skull on the back, or they would leave off the words on the back, or they wouldn't give us the back graphic on the t-shirts, and it used to drive me nuts. And I know that Mattel still kind of does that, but I'm liking the way all of these look. I like... And there's something about it that just it makes it so much better. It gives that an extra oomph when you're talking about figures, but the last one we have is going to be Jacob Fatu there that we've already taken a look at. So I think it was a successful closet haul right here, man. I think that all of them look good in their own ways. I'm proud of them. Another huge shout-out to PWR Lucha, man. Thank you so much, brother, for the epic haul of figures. I think that all of them look great, and I'm glad that we got to put these in the collection. You're absolutely a G, man. So huge shout-out to PWR Lucha, man. Go check him out. Go order some figures, shirts, and clothing. He makes the best in the game, so you definitely want to get in on that, man. But before we get out of here, a huge shout-out to our Patreon members as well, man. Thank you guys so very much for your continued support. As always, you guys are unbelievable. Thank you guys so very much for the support, man. You guys are great. But I'm getting out, man. Thank you guys for watching. Leave me your thoughts on these down below. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you guys later.